yes perfect shade i love how this contour is looking come on i love a good makeup day hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so you know all the stuff that i hauled from my sephora sale i am still doing first impressions of a lot of those products so today is another video and my full face pretty sure it's my full face is using all of the products that I bought during the Sephora sale and I came out with this look. I absolutely love how it turned out. But before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. Our little channel is growing and I appreciate all of you. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I won't keep you guys waiting. If you wanna see how I got this look and it's a full face of products still coming from my Sephora haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're going to jump straight into this video. I have my little box of stuff that I want to try today. These are all <laughs> These are all still products from my Sephora hauls that I never tried yet. So yeah, we are gonna work on using our makeup this year. I am gonna go ahead and start with my eyes today. I feel like when I don't do that, I end up having to kind of mess around with my eyeshadow underneath and my concealer getting messed up, so we're gonna do that. I am gonna use the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 Eyeshadow Palette. I know this is not new to anybody but me, but I haven't used it yet, so we're going to focus on that for the eyes and then move into the rest of the face. I went ahead and primed my eyes with my Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. It just says eye primer. I don't know what I don't know what the name of this is, but it's been sitting on my desktop for a while, so we are going to jump right in. Now, I do remember I used the first one, first eyeshadow palette of his that came out and I was just not impressed. And I brought it back. I thought it was cute, but I did not feel like it was worth the price. I do like the packaging of this one a little bit more. It's still the mirror. I think the other one was less mirrored and more just kind of like the chromish. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Maybe it's just the trim that's different on this one, but I kind of like this better. The inside of this is definitely more berry toned, kind of mauvey, and I don't know, I just felt like the other one was kind of just like plain. I feel like some of the shades in this one, especially these two right here, are very different, almost kind of like multi-chrome, so that's really what got me. I haven't even swatched this yet. I need to see what these cream shades are. Oh, is that darker than the other one? I don't, this is not going to do anything, but I don't know if that one is darker than what was in the last one. I don't know, maybe it's just, oh, that's a lot pinker than I thought it was. Okay, well, that's cute. I mean, I still don't think it'll do anything for me. I just don't know if I want to even fool with these cream shades, but I kind of feel like that was kind of the whole gimmick of the palette. Okay, so we're gonna start with, eh, let's start with this shade here. Ooh, very powdery. Very pretty. And I have no idea what I'm doing for my eye look, so we're just kind of winging it. I do like to try to as, use as many shades as possible when I'm doing a new eyeshadow look with a palette I have not used before. I'm gonna go in, actually I already just did, with this shade here. I feel like, yeah, they're looking a little lighter in the monitor than they do in real life. So I just wanna soften the crease a little bit. And then I'm just gonna use all of these shades. I'm going into the next deeper one here. And I'm gonna see how that one looks. Is it darker or just a different tone is my question. I feel like maybe it's a little deeper than the first shade that we put on. But you will definitely get some kind of berry look using this palette. There is not much else 
around it. And then I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade and just see. Yeah, I guess that's pretty deep. Let me get a smaller brush. Yeah, that is pretty deep. Okay, we can work with that. I remember feeling like the last one too, I just didn't feel like the shades were even deep enough, even though it was a more neutral brown palette. So happy to see that in this one. This shade right here, I don't know why I'm having trouble holding this, but I'm trying not to blind y'all. This shade right here, I'm struggling. This shade right here, there we go. Apparently I gotta do it on this side, is really calling my name. I don't know, yeah, you can kind of see the shifts in it there. So we are going in with that one. I'm gonna try it on a brush first, which does not look like it's gonna work. And I am using my refer brushes. Yeah, she's glitter. Okay, let me try the one next to it first. It also looks glittery, but very pretty. So it's this shade here. I'm doing this one, but I'm definitely going on top with that one. Maybe I need to try a different brush because I am not really feeling the application with this one. I do normally go in with my finger. So I was trying to just get the color laid down first. See, this one kind of feels topper-ish. It's pretty though, very shimmery. Let me try the shade that I really wanted to use. Yeah, I am definitely getting duochrome vibes from that. I'm just not sure it's showing. That definitely amped that up though. And changed the color. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna try this deeper. I kinda wanna try this one but I'm not sure if it's gonna take away from the color, but I don't wanna just use this. Do I? Let's, I'm gonna do them all. <laughs> Let's just see. Okay, that's not doing anything on top of this. So we're just gonna go in with the darker one. That one I feel is more kind of like a, it's still a shimmer, but it's more a satin. And just put that here on the outer part to blend in with the matte. I hope you guys can see the colors on these. I think this is so pretty. I always just, I'm a purist. I wanna see what it looks like for what it is without having to spray anything. So that's why I tend not to, but I know that it definitely helps with the color and how it lays down. As you can see there, definitely getting a lot more Shine with that. Okay, now I wanna do that <laughs> with the one that I said kinda of look like a multi-chrome. If it'll pick up is the problem. I feel like it's all starting to blend together, so that is gorgeous. I'm back in this outer part with the matte, just to make sure I do keep some of that and then with that darkest shimmer shade just to kind of blend. Pretty easy eye look and I love how well these blended. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one, same thing off camera so this video isn't really long. And then we're gonna move into the rest of the face. Okay, eyes are done and this is what we have so far. Very glittery, I hope you can see the dimension in this and I did not use a base so this is just the colors I mean I didn't use the cream bases so this is just the colors by themselves I'm gonna go ahead and use this Lancome Le Base Pro this isn't new and I'm honestly not sure when I got it <laughs> but considering I'm trying to use products I haven't used before this has been sitting in my collection and I haven't used it so look I'm not joking brand new primer here this is one of those kind of silicone -y. it's clear you can't really see 
anything, um, one of those silicone smoothing primers. I remember I used to love these and then I stopped loving them. So we're gonna see, I'm trying to make sure I don't have glitter on my hands, on my fingers from the eyeshadow and I do. So we're just gonna put this on, let it sit for a second and then figure out what foundation I wanna use because I have three, two, two. One of them, I'm not gonna lie, I used already, so I'll use the other one because I don't think I've used it yet. I think I just tried to swatch it to see the color. The first one is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good, like one of my new favorites, honestly. If I'm, I'm probably gonna do a favorites video and I'm gonna include it in there. The other one is this Ilia True Skin serum foundation i don't think i've used this but i don't remember so i'm gonna go with that one i got mine in the shade number sf11 martinique and this one is it's a clean fragrance free oh i remember because i smelled it and i was like this is not fragrance free light to medium buildable coverage with a smooth luminous finish this is not gonna be on for long, so I can't say that I'm gonna be able to tell you how it wears throughout the day, but it does say one pump for light coverage, two for medium. <gasps> no, why is this spilled? Oh, okay, got the mess cleaned up. Where was I? Um, it says shake well before use. One pump for light coverage, two for medium. Apply like a serum and finish by pressing palms into skin. For more precision, pair with a complexion brush. We are not using our fingers. I don't do that, I don't do it. So we're just gonna use a brush. I think I do remember swatching this one and thinking she was a little dark. <laughs> we already know. If light I should have did just one and let you guys see uh, um, but I don't want light coverage so we're just gonna start with two this definitely has a fragrance so I don't know what they are talking about with that I don't love how this smells at all and of course I don't think I realized how deep this was and maybe because I did a light swatch but y'all know we make it work and I do have a concealer that is a little brighter so just for reference the latest foundation shade that I have found that I think is a really good match for me <laughs> um, is the Givenchy Prism whatever the long name is, foundation. And mine is in the shade, oh geez. I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember the exact name of it, but that one is lighter and a little more golden. This is coming off kind of red, which I don't think I expected. And of course it is past the date for me to bring this back. So this will be a mixer because she is too dark. But we're just going to bring it down the neck, lighten it up with a little concealer, and we will be fine. This is where we are with that. So yeah, definitely medium coverage. You can still see my spots on this side. But I feel like by the time it's all said and done, everything ends up looking good. So we'll be okay. For concealer today, I've had this for a while, have not tried it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. I got mine in the shade number 13. And I think all I did was swatch this. Again, nothing new, but I've been hoarding products that I have not tried yet. As you can see, this has not been even swatched. I have heard really good things about this though. It's supposed to be really creamy and long wearing. I like the shade of this. I did pick this up in store because I was worried about the shades and I did not think that the website was really showing an accurate picture of how they looked I couldn't tell and I didn't want to pick the wrong thing I do feel like this is kind of thick which I'm not sure I expected and it is spreading a lot I love when I can just go in one time get every area that I need and then be done versus having to go back in 
So definitely a plus for that. So yeah, this is light, which will be fine because the rest of our face is dark. And I always like to go around the edges first and then just kind of work in the parts that I need more coverage last to give them a chance to dry down. This feels very, very creamy. Y'all let me know if you have tried this. I definitely could have gone a shade deeper, but I think I didn't like the undertone or something. Who knows, y'all? I think a lot of times I'm just in such a rush and I just want to hurry up and get it and then get home and try it, but then I don't even do that because I get home and stick it in a bin of stuff I need to try. So that doesn't always work out like I plan it. But I do like how it is blending in. It is helping tone down the shade of the foundation a little bit, which was the primary goal. So, so far so good. I love using my brush just to clean up the edge of my eyeshadow as well. That was definitely a lot of concealer. I don't think I realized that it was gonna spread as much as it did. So keep that in mind. I'm sure you've used this before. Not everybody is like me that waits and waits and waits to try a product. But yeah, she is definitely spreading a lot. So go in with a little bit and then add more as needed. To set under my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Say Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. This one is in translucent medium and I'm deciding to go with this one because my under eyes are so light. And so I feel like this will help kind of tone it down a little bit. I'm just gonna try to get some of this out. And I do like the shade of this. It's not too yellow, it's more neutral, but this is a little darker than what I normally use. I'm gonna use my brush first just to see before I try to pack this on. Ooh, we creasing already. Forehead, I don't mind packing it on. Under my eyes, I don't want it to look crazy, so use my brush first place it and see what it's gonna look like because also it does say radiant and if it was shimmery or anything like that I definitely did not want to try to bake with it first definitely took the shine away from under my eyes so you can see that and it is a good shade especially for the fact that this is A very light concealer so it is still it's not adding coverage so much as it is just smoothing everything out it says radiant I don't know that I'm really seeing that you can definitely tell the difference where I set versus where I didn't because it does look a little more shiny down here but this still looks kind of it doesn't look super matte even you can tell with my nose I don't know, when I put it on the back of my hand, I do see a little bit of a shine. So I'm gonna go ahead, do I have a setting? Yes, I don't know if I've used, I think I've used my Kosas Cloud Set Powder before, but I also have this Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. This is in the shade Spiced Rum. I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny little bit of this and set the rest of my face because I feel like it is gonna stay shiny and I don't want that I did not get this at Sephora but I think it's a product you can still get at Sephora I hope um, but I picked this up at the cosmetics company store and I haven't used it yet so that just helped take away the shine. It didn't add too much coverage. I'm sure I could build it up if I wanted to, but I don't. I like how this is looking so far, so we're just gonna keep it like that. For contour, I finally am gonna try out the Huda Beauty Medium Shade in the Tantor Contour and Bronzing Cream. I bought this when it first came out. I didn't know what I was doing, and it looked crazy on me, and I did not like it. So I brought it back. I also got it in a shade way too dark. So this is what it looks like. Shade medium still looks pretty dark. I'm just going to take my Sephora 201 blush and powder brush. This is not a powder brush. I don't know why they say it is. 
always use this for my contour and my bronzer. Oh, that's not as intimidating as I thought it was going to be, so this is good. I think I remember the very first time I tried this, not only did I get a shade that was too dark, I think I just, I really didn't know what I was doing and I put way too much, oh, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> and it started looking super muddy and I couldn't blend it right. But again, I also did not know what I was doing with cream products. And I am putting this over the powder and it seems to be blending really well. I like the shade of this a lot, yeah. I like how that looks a lot better than the last time I tried it. So this is definitely a keeper. I don't feel like I noticed that much of a difference with these and like using this versus the e.l.f. one or anything like that. So y'all let me know if you think there's like a huge difference between the high end and the drugstore ones because I don't know. I also have this LYS No Limit Matte Bronzer. I got mine in the shade Strength, which is the dark one. Ooh, I think I feel like I remember this being really, really dark. Yeah, yeah. I think she might be a little dark. I have a bigger brush, and it's a looser brush that I'm gonna use just to set the, oh, I feel like this is gonna be, oh, it's not that bad, okay. I just have to go in lightly, but I wanna set the areas where I put the cream product. Ooh, baby, we gonna be snatched today. Too bad it's like seven o'clock at night and I ain't going nowhere. It's a whole Sunday, so I really ain't going anywhere. Come on, cheekbones. I like the shade of this. As you can see, I did not have to use a lot. Love when I have a product like that. For blush, could not wait to use this. This has been sitting just waiting for me. This is the Kaja Whipped Dream Multi Eye and Cheek Color. I forgot that you could use this on your eyes. Did it say you could use it on your lips too? I don't think it did. It did not, but I remember I did and I liked how it looked. So this is the packaging for this. I showed it in my haul. This says that you're supposed to use your fingers. Use the applicator to dot product on the eyes and cheeks. Gently tap with fingertips to blend. Layer for bolder color. We're not using fingers. So we're just gonna do this little number. And then I'm gonna go in with the other side and just blend that out. I think that shade is very pretty. You don't see it a lot. I see it a lot. I don't know if you guys can see it a lot. This is like my perfect terracotta like the shade that I absolutely love to use every single time I put on blush so we're gonna layer this up because I do want you don't know how I like blush I'm not sure I would use this on my eyes though maybe it's like a kind of crease color or maybe like an all-in-one okay now I'm seeing some pigment um kind of like an all-in-one eyeshadow look just blend that in there so it doesn't go up too high but I love the shade of this this is so pretty and I feel like everything is looking so flawless. Yes, perfect shade. I love how this contour is looking. Come on, I love a good makeup day. I don't wanna set that. I feel like it looks good. I don't wanna be too, too matte. So we're just gonna leave it like that. For highlighter, I have this Say. This is their Glowy Super Gel. I wonder if I was supposed to use this as a primer. I have no idea, but we're about to see. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. This is in the shade Star Glow. I think I got this in like one of those Sephora gift sets. Ooh, that's really wet. And I feel like that was probably supposed to go on underneath. So let's see. Oh no, that's pretty. It's drying down, but you can still see a little bit of shine. It is not like a super glowy highlighter. So if you are not into that, you would like this. It is a very, very wet formula though. So keep that in mind. But I mean, I'm putting it over all my other products and it is not picking anything up, not disturbing anything. So we're gonna stop there with highlighter. What else do we have? I need to put on lashes. 
I do have an eyeliner. I pulled this out of my drawer. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. This is a 24 hour non-fading long wear waterproof easy glide intense pigment load brush dual tip, no, dual fiber brush. I don't know, I love brushes, so we're gonna see how dark this is. It says it's in the shade Deepest Black. I've also had this for a while and have not tried it. And I love to see how stuff like this applies over kind of glittery shades like this. So I'm just gonna do one eye real quick so you can see. Okay, that is a very, very pointy, precise tip, which I like. It is black and it is applying over this glitter very well. I feel like a lot of high-end brush, high-end eyeliners have a felt tip, so it is really good to see a brush tip formula. I really like that. I'm not doing too big of a wing. I like how that applied, super easy. So I'm gonna do the other one and I'm going to try this Ilia mascara. This was in one of the little Sephora favorite sets I got. This is the Limitless Lash Mascara and it says it's in the shade after midnight. So I'm gonna put that on off camera too, but I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, I started working on my mascara and I think I need to show you guys. So this mascara is a brush, like the plastic silicone wands. It's not the typical brush. And I need to try this when I don't have on a thick wing, but I feel like this is doing a little something. It is definitely going on super dark, which I like. I like when I can do just like the first pass and I can see that the mascara actually looks different on my lashes. I know it's kind of hard to see right now, but if you are looking for a mascara, it's weird because the combs are all different lengths. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this and my hands are ashy because I just washed them, but it is very, very different. Like there's different lengths to the combs and different widths. So this is interesting. I like how it's applying and I do think this would be really good on my lashes with just like no eyeshadow to be able to make them really, really look long and dark and full. So I just wanted to show that real quick because I said I was doing it off camera, but I was impressed so I needed to show you. For my bottom lash line, I started to just go ahead and do that <laughs> off camera too and I was putting the darkest powder shade, but I do want to go ahead and see what this darker cream shade looks like. So I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny brush. This is one of my refer brushes and just see how dark I can get that. It does not seem like it's darker than the powder that I was putting, but maybe layering the two of them. So I already put the powder, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this cream and then go with the powder on top of it just to set it because by itself, I don't really feel like it did a lot. I just feel like those creams are gimmicky. That's why I brought the first one back because that was my whole reason for wanting to pick it up and try the palette in the first place. And if it wasn't for the fact that I love the shimmer shades that I put on my lid today, I'll probably bring this one back too. Not that it's not good, it's good. And I mean, this does look super smoky and pretty, but I guess I'm just thinking like, What's the hype, if that makes any sense? Maybe because they're in a palette together. I don't know what the big deal is. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with this lightest shade up here, the shimmer shade, and put that on my inner corner and my bottom lash line. Ooh, that's right. I definitely feel like these shimmers are better than the other palette. The other one was just way too many topper shades for me. So, oh, we got fallout already. You girl forgot about her eyebrows. <laughs> we are not almost done. I'm gonna use the Chocolate Brownie Cocoa Powder Brow Pencil. This is the Too Faced pencil, and it's in the shade Deep Brown. I like this one because it is that bigger tip. We all know how much I love those, and I feel like they are really quick 
to help fill in my brows. This does smell like chocolate, which I don't think that I noticed before today. I have used this before. I have one upstairs in my bathroom. And so I was like, you know what? I haven't used this on camera, so let me go ahead and use it real quick just so you guys can see what the shade looks like. I do feel like the shade is really dark, so you do have to have a light hand with it. But I just love that I feel like I can get a very natural looking brow with it despite how deep it is. And again, I love the shape of these because I can just fill it in and go. Like really, this is how I do my brows. I don't do much more than that. I like a kind of structured but kind of bushy at the same time. And I feel like this pencil and pencils like this with this shape help me do that very, very quick. So again, I'm just gonna do one on camera, but I like this and it's kind of cool that it smells like chocolate. That's it for my brows, guys. I mean, I could go and like do all that cleanup around the edges and everything, but again, I just like something that looks filled in, put together, but not too, too structured. For lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and try out these Lily Lashes Sephora Collection Faux Mink, I think these are. <laughs> yeah, Faux Mink, and this says Dramatic Volume. This is in Beverly Drive. I'm nervous. I have not been having really good luck with lashes lately, so pray for me. I'm going to try to put these on. I have a new adhesive. This is the Duo Line It Lash It 2-in-1 eyeliner and lash adhesive. I've not tried this yet, but hopefully this will make this a little bit easier. So I'm going to try these two together and hopefully they go well. Say some prayers for me. Send me some good vibes. Okay. Lashes are on. If I could tell you guys how long it takes me to do these things, you would probably ask me why I do them because it is an absolute mess. And I think this one is stuck on my lid a little bit higher than the other one, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. I think they're cute. They weren't hard to put on. It's just, I don't know if I didn't let my glue dry down enough, so whatever. Anyway, we're gonna finish with lips. I have my Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Liner in the shade Jeff. I still want either the Milk Chocolate one or Travis. But I also have others that I've picked up, so I feel like I'm kind of doing the most and I need to just stop with one. I love that these come with their sharpener already in the case, so you don't have to worry about getting another one. This has a brush on one end and the pencil on the other. It is a sharpener. I don't love that one that you have to sharpen. I don't love that, but we will make it work. So this is a brown. And it's a gorgeous shade. I just wish it was a little bit lighter, which is why I said I wanted Travis. But I have enough brown liners to last me probably several years, so we're just going to enjoy this formula for what it is. For my lip color, I have this Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro set have not used this yet and I hope one of these is a berryish kind of shade and it is not okay so we have a very light neutral here then this very dark kind of reddish brown shade and then a red let's try this neutral shade because these other shades I'll go ahead and swatch them but they are not gonna go with this eye look I do have another option let's see so this is the red. We already know we are not using that one because she is red and it does not match, but absolutely beautiful. The next is called, is there a number on here? 209. The red is in 415. This is so pretty. Ooh, that is like a super gorgeous chocolatey red brown. And then this, I'm worried this shade is going to be super light and super cool toned. Actually, I think that'll go. Yeah, let's try that. Yep. 
we can make her work. I'm gonna go around it with this darker chocolatey shade. See, yeah, that is gonna be perfect because I did wish that the liner was a little more chocolate red. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my lip brush. I normally just use my finger, but since I have it, And there we go. I think that is a gorgeous combo. Oh my God. Ooh, yes. Okay, I love that. And I love how these feel because they're not very drying. I don't know if they're gonna dry down, but right now I don't feel like I need a gloss. So we're gonna stick with that. Y'all, I think my face looks so good. What do you guys think? I think everything came together for setting spray. I've been trying this out. I really don't know how I like it. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray 16 Hour. I don't remember if I tried this on camera or not, but I don't have another one. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one again. Initially, I felt like I really liked it. And then, I don't know, now I kind of feel like the sprayer is being weird. <sighs> like, it's a lot. I feel like that just was a lot so we're gonna let that dry down and sit and then we will close out this video all right so that is it for the video i did go ahead and pat the spray into my face and i do feel like there were some chunks but other than that i think this looks so good i feel like my face looks really smooth i don't know if it's from the primer i don't know if it's the powder we put on top but i just feel like everything played really well together it's matte but it doesn't feel like dry and heavy. And I don't know if that's because of the formula of the foundation or what, but I am really happy with how this look turned out. I love the eyes. Excuse my lashes if they look crazy. Y'all know the struggle if you've watched for a while. Lashes are not my thing, but we try to make it work. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have no cons at all from anything that I use. I loved everything. Foundation was dark, but we made it come together, and this is the final look. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, what your thoughts are about them, and yeah, thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button. I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's not the way you said. I